Because but, everybody loves you as Paige uh, Matthews on Charmed. <laughs> In fact, Charm has some really passionate fans. Can you tell us a little bit about their passionate? Yeah, I have people who've built entire doll houses out of our house who, I mean, they know, uh, well, Tarantino, Quentin Tarantino I worked with, he was like really obsessed with the show and he used to call when I was working on it. And he'd try to get me to come on the phone. He's like, so Rose, ah, uh, what's the deal in like, you know, episode 57? And there's like this, ah, uh, this guy, and he's like, hours away. And I'm like, I don't know what you're talking about. <laughs> so finally I got him, there's this thing called the Book of Shadows that explained everybody and every character. And we got him his own. The show producer got it. So he would stop bothering me at work. <laughs> <laughs> Rose McGowan, everybody. So tell us about this character, this, this witch that you play in the film. She's half sorceress. I played a witch in Charmed. I don't know honestly what the difference to tell you the truth between a sorceress and a witch. Maybe somebody could enlighten me. Masha, 19, Maria. If I get it wrong, I'm so sorry, Masha. Do you miss your team from Charmed? My team? Your team. I guess they're talking about your co-stars and, and the whole experience. Weirdly enough, I do through Twitter. Well, because they live in the valley and I live in the city and those two things, never the twain shall meet. Uh, I remember when I first started Charmed and we were shooting initially in the valley and they were like, you're going to move to the valley. I'm like, no. And I did not. So, you know, but then on Charmed I was saving people for five years, yeah, you know. Yeah. And uh, I feel like you all should be appreciated. I feel like I'm underappreciated for saving the world about mm, once a week. And now I'm trying to kill the world. But I did a show called Charmed and it's funny because, mm -hmm. you know, I've been done with that for like three years now. and. Someone brought me some of the comics today at Comic Con to sign, and I was like, it's "So weird doing something where the character lives on in comic books. She's having her own strange adventures." Be at this gay drag club who had a really thick accent, couldn't really understand them. She's like, "I was from Baghdad for a year. You're a superstar in Iraq." I was like, "What?" And Saddam approved two shows to play there, and I don't know what the other one was, but Charmed was one of them. I was like. Literally, my first thoughts were, Uday and Kuse know who I am. <laughs> like, what? Uh, it was, it's, it's the reach is pretty, um, pretty, pretty intense. Yeah. My time is paid on charm. Thank you. Thank you. Paige is very close to my heart. And I wanted her, because the other girls were a bit more serious, I wanted her to kind of be like baby Lucy and Ball, like always getting in trouble. And especially the first couple seasons, because she was the youngest. And, she was always in trouble. And the funniest thing about Paige was just, I wanted her to be really unique in her own um, person. And what was great about Charm is that normally, let's say, I would do, if I do a movie that's comedy, it would be comedy. If I do a movie that's drama, it would be drama. Or an action film. And on Charm, like every eight days, which is how long it took to film an episode, I would do all three of those. And that's what made it such a rare and cool show, is that I, I think for fans and for us, doing it. Never really got bored. And it also made me laugh that um, there was one episode where all three of us died <laughs> and everybody else had all these friends at their, you know, viewing or casket and I had like three leprechauns. So <laughs> really, really, that's all the spares. I don't want to have to pay I love her. Alyssa's got the pretty low profile since how you're baby. And Holly's got like five million kids, so she's, <laughs> she's a mama. And I have us. <laughs> but, <laughs> but she's, um, yeah, I do, definitely do. Holly's great. And I guess she did her first convention last month or something like that. So hopefully we get to do one together at some point. Where you left? Well, you know, I had not seen Charmed before. I had done a a two-year run where I did about eight movies in a row, and I was out of the country for most of it. And I was doing a movie in Romania, and Aaron Spelling, the producer, got cashed through my hotel room. And I was like, ha, 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 Aaron Spelling, I don't have to pay. <laughs> <laughs> I was like, why did Aaron Spelling call me? Why was the guy that did Dynasty, my favorite show ever? <laughs> <laughs> um, and then it turned out really to be him. And, um, they flew me back to LA, and the thing that decided it for me actually was on um, the plane, you know, they usually have like a selection, like three or four TV shows you can watch. And it had Charmed, and it had a pilot episode. Um, and I watched that, and I was like, this show's really good. And that's what decided it for me, it was just that I don't know if I would have even done it on the plane right back if I hadn't seen the pilot episode. So it was kind of.
the flight. And I've never seen Charmed again on the flight, other than that. I didn't want to be on a show that failed. Nobody does. But Charm was already a hit when they joined us. So I was like, sweet. Um, that's a good idea. You know? <laughs> but there's, and I think honestly, there's just so much good television now. Well, that I had the best power. <laughs> I didn't like 
like being in a coffin. I didn't enjoy that. I thought it would be totally fine, and I have to say, I wasn't really a fan of it. So probably being in a coffin, all the strange things I did on that show, and I did a lot of strange things, probably being in a coffin, which is more claustrophobic than you would think. Um, but it was, I got in some ridiculous situations on that show. I think one time I was on the ground, I got knocked over by a leprechaun who fell out of a tree. And I was like, wow, I'm laying on the ground in a forest with a leprechaun straddling my neck. What? What happened? What is going on in my life? This is hilarious. I mean, that doesn't happen every day. But I'm getting paid to have leprechauns on my neck. How did you feel personally? I actually felt kind of exactly like Paige felt. So I played it kind of how I was feeling. Slightly awkward, kind of intimidated, to be honest. A little freaked out. And um, I really, it's funny because I've talked to a lot of people that have been adopted and my character was an adopted kid. And um, it really felt like that. I felt like kind of like a foster kid that was just shoehorning my way into somebody else's family. and. So I didn't, you know, it didn't require great acting. The funniest thing is the first episode I ever did. They were so used to doing all the special effects and you had to freeze to do, you know, the fire or uh, orbing. So the first time they were like, okay, now you orb, go. And I was like, what? I have no, what are you talking about? I have no idea, what, what does orbing mean? You know, and then I learned later that I had the best power, so that was okay. <laughs> Uh, I was also half white lighter, which means that I, I became ultimately, in some ways, kind of the, have the strongest powers. And it was, um, it, it's fun to be magical, you know? I get bored being me. It's fun to reappear and disappear. And every time I'm on an airplane, I fantasize that I can hold. I can hold. I mean, it's kind of sad that you fantasize about a superpower, but um, I've never understood people that want to be invisible or getting, what? Like, why would you want to do that? You still could get on the airplane. <laughs> Sailing somebody's lap. That sucks. In terms of social effects, how did you actually feel um, when you would or when you throw things like, say, mattress and throw across the room? How did you actually feel that? Well, I would demonstrate. What we, they would have me do is, so let's say I, said, you know, water. And I took this and I'd add freeze in this mode, and then they would take that, throw it across the room, or they had a silver ball that they filmed. They bring it in, I reflect like everything it sees in the room, and then they can repaint the room, or blow up the room, or do anything with that. But I always wanted to be kind of dramatic with my powers. Um, Holly did her fire just kind of like that, so I was like, okay, she does it kind of like that. I'm going to be like, 